It's the kind of beat to go Hey all you World Domination players out there, it is your main man Joey and we are here for Let's Play World Domination episode number 33, continuing on from last episode which is episode 32, so of course we're going on to episode 33 guys. So today we are going to be taking a look at the latest war on this game, so right now the Chicago war or event is going on right now, now there are 23 hours left in this event you could say, so we got plenty of time to attack, plenty of time, just kind of kick back, relax and attack. So right now the first place is number ch bleh, bleh, got tongue tied there. The number one spot belongs to Mr. Chase right here. He has 20,049 trophies. That is a big whopping number. And as you can see, the survivors are completely overtaking the infected here by that overwhelmingly large blue line, which would be representing the survivors. So let's go ahead and fight. Can we get an expert raid? We can. So right now I could borrow this uh, machine gunner from Nixon here. But instead, I'm just going to roll with that because we got plenty of stuff to roll. So let's go ahead and set that. We're going to go on expert and we're going to fight. Chicago will blow you away. I mean, it is a windy city, so it's pretty ironic. I'm just, <laughs> I got to love Chicago, guys. Chicago is definitely one of my favorite cities. I cannot deny it, guys. I mean, if you ever been there, I'm sure some of you guys have. But if you have been there, I know it's probably one of y'all's favorites. Let me know. What, what, do you, what are your guys' favorites? cities because i know mine would have to be chicago i love boston as well boston is lots of fun so let me go ahead and throw that there went to boston over the summer went to seattle over the summer two amazing cities let me go ahead and where i don't even know where do i want to put these guys let's go ahead and put these guys right up close here i'm gonna throw dead shots with them as well now honestly i feel like i could easily take these two groups with just that However, I kind of want to add a little bit of extra oomph or support just in case we do run into any problems because our two objectives here, it looks like the Stim Z factories are pretty close together. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a Fire Chief and an EMT right up here. Just going to move them back just a little bit, have a little bit of time to get out of the way of those zombies. The EMT is going to be there to just kind of juice up the Fire Chief there. And right over here, I'm going to start these waves and we're just going to kind of see how they hold up. So it looks like the dead shot is going to maybe take out the runner. There we go. So machine gunner's lined up. He's pretty much set. These guys are cruising pretty much. We don't have any daredevils coming on from this side, which is a good thing because that way they're not going to be able to help over those walls. And we are pretty pre pretty protected. However, we do have a daredevil right on the way. So I'm going to throw in a scatter shot there to help take out some of those mutated zombies that like the daredevils who could be end up ending up popping up somewhere. Come on, take them down for me. There we go. All right, so we did get a little bit iffy over there. I'm going to go ahead and throw down two more Fire Chiefs and an EMT back here to help heal up a little bit because that Daredevil did manage to get a piece of my Fire Chief. So he did manage to get taken out. However, I think with two, we should be pretty good over there. So that Machine Gunner is having plenty of time to warm up there and just steamroll all of these drones. Let me go ahead and stem, 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 stem. Stim. <laughs> Go ahead and stim them up a little bit, get a little bit extra juice going. Now, it does look like they got taken out again. I need to upgrade my fire chiefs. They need a little extra more juice. Come on, guys. Take them out, please. Uh oh. Oh, that was so clutch. Did you get. Y'all saw how close that was? All right, we've got a couple drones over there. However, we have a few more over here, and that will be it. Is there a mortician somewhere? Ah. Oh, that was close. Did y'all see that? Come on, flare away. What in the world happened? I think I burnt away my guys. I didn't even know I could do that. I need to catch up on my world domination like tips and tricks. I'm falling behind. These updates are just too cray. Take them out. Oh my gosh. Oh, that came down to the last minute. So, pro tip. Multiple scatter shots are good. One, not so good. So, we ended up clearing that. We got... 835 trophies and that puts us at a whopping 835 plus 42 if you can do the math go for it but i do not feel like it We've got some good xp we got some good guild bonus we got a whole bunch of good stuff there we are just rolling let's keep rolling with this event chicago the windy city chicago fire i'm just saying random stuff expert i'm definitely gonna borrow that from batman let's go ahead and accept that expert fight need more cans Let's go shopping real quick. Store, currency, I'm just pretty much saying what I'm going 
to let's go ahead and buy a whopping 11,000 cans with a hundred coins. I think that'll treat us pretty well. So let's go ahead and fight again. Come on. Let's go to this event. Chicago fight expert. I'm going to borrow that machine gunner and we are off to the races here. We'll blow you away. I really like that postcard there. It's pretty swanky. I like it. I'm a fan. All right. So where are our pads and where are our RR? Our... <laughs> That's funny. Not really. I'm just making bad jokes here. Uh, where do I want to put these things? All right, so I really like this pad back here because I'm able to just move these guys up just a little bit. Now, this does provide the dead shot and sharpshooter a good amount of cover. It'll give them time to kind of take out some of those runners. Whoever breaks away clear, same with the runners and the daredevils. And they got a little tiny wall to kind of give them a little bit of protection, but nothing too crazy. So I think I will be very happy with that. Now, over here, I want to do something a little bit differently. I want to kind of have a melee type thing going on. So to defend this area right here, hopefully, actually... What I'm going to hope for is that they don't even have to go over to that machine gunner. I'm going to try to kind of overwhelm this one area with melee type units. So I'm going to go throw two fire chiefs down, one EMT, and that leaves us for some room for a scatter shot, scatter shot, scatter shot, scatter shot, commando, commando. So what I did there, I put plenty of little close range firing people and of course my fire chiefs. And that way they'll be up close if they want to take some damage, kind of protect the dead shot, the EMT, the dog is barking again, not a surprise. I'm going to throw a machine gunner over here, just kind of help support a little bit, kind of help protect from those runners if we can get warmed up quick enough. Now those runners are, uh, I'm afraid they're going to be able to kind of overrun all my people. Sadly, there's a drone coming from absolutely nowhere right there. Hopefully these guys can focus on that area right there. I'm going to try to delay that one wave right there just a moment, see if we can get this one wave kind of taken care of here. Oi, all those drones. I'm just going to let them take them out. It's fine. We're just going to roll with it. We still got plenty of defense here. If worst comes to worst, if they take out all of my guys, I do have a machine gunner, the dead shot, and the sniper just to kind of help support a little bit and help take out the remainder of those guys. Now, we still do have this one area right here, pretty locked down with two commandos and three scatter shots. Now, they're all very powerful. The scatter shots are level 18 and the commandos are 21. So they all have quite a lot of juice behind them. I feel like they are going to be pretty good. Let me go ahead and stim them up, give them a little bit of extra juice. I'm going to use that flare to kind of flare away any of these daredevils and whatnot. Now, it does look like we're handling this actually very well because these guys are very, once if they have that, since they have that one wall to protect them, they are just cruising, I must say. So we do have an infector kind of leaning off here a little bit. Ugh. I'm going to go ahead and use my Molotov cocktail to kind of try to take him out a little bit quicker because he is going to start reviving those drones there and I do not want that to happen. Hopefully we can, yeah, just barely miss him. He's still on fire, still losing health. And will he go down? Just barely miss him. And that will looks like it looks like we're just down to a couple more drones here. Just by the uh, come on. One more. You can do it, guys. There we go. So we do end up finishing out with 632 trophies plus our time bonus, which will be 196. That puts us at 828 trophies. We cleared it, we exited the building. And we got some nice rewards, I must say. So now we are sitting at 1,705 trophies for Chicago, plus that 42 bonus from the guild. If you are interested in joining a guild, World Domination Nation, just Domination Nation, is calling your name right here. As you can see, we've got a pretty swaggy guild. Now, we do have, since this guild has been through a couple beta updates, it's kind of tough because we're losing, we have a ton of actives. We lose them because of the updates, and they just lose their code, and it's just kind of fluctuating a lot. But once we go global, we'll be back at it. Let's go ahead and X that out and get one more attack in on Shy Town here. Fight expert. Do I want to borrow this? Crazy has a level 22 dead shot. Wow, I'm really jealous of that. Let's go ahead and accept that. Go on expert and fight. I love it. I almost said we'll blow you away, but I said it like every single time we've attacked so far, so I thought I wouldn't, but then I ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> whatevs it's all good so over here the looks like the commando sort of strategy and scatter shot worked very well i think so this time i'm going to actually use two dead shots chilling back here we're going to use a commando two commandos and a scatter shot move them back just a little bit mm. and let's go ahead and throw down two more sharpshooters back here and that's going to pretty much i'm hoping we'll be able to hold down that wave pretty well those snipers are there for the brute and etc 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 we are looking very good now let's go ahead and do that okay we don't we can't do that so never mind <laughs> uh let's go ahead and throw down three dead shots oh my lord let's go ahead and start these waves here 
and I'm feeling pretty happy with this loadout. I'm going to throw a scatter shot there just in case we get into a little trouble here. Ah, that was a mistake, I think. Let me go ahead and move that back a little bit so we can draw them a little bit further back, give the machine gunner a little bit extra juice here. Now, let's go ahead and speed this up and see how we are doing. So, they managed to break through that wall. However, we are doing fairly well. Those sh snipers are doing very well. Forest they, so they did manage to break through that wall. However, the commandos and the scattershot are doing very well and kind of holding down a lot of those drones. They do have, they're seeming to have a little bit of trouble with these mutated daredevils and stuff like that. But they're still doing ultimately very well. So machine gunners holding down these lanes. Now this is pretty much a perfect, perfect map for these machine gunners. They got two very large lanes, have a very clear opening shot. Great, just straight shot down the line here. Not a problem at all. Now, it looks like a couple are making their way down because they took out my scatter shot. However, we are looking very good. We just got a couple drones. We got an infector here. Let me go and drop that. Looks like it was taken out by a sniper from back over there by my little sniper pad back there. Just kind of holding down the fort there. And he managed to snipe that infector there. And we have cleared it. That is the third raid here. We got 916 trophies plus our 46 bonus, of course. And the rest is all history. So, let's go ahead and continue and clear that. And guys, I will call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this World Domination Let's Play episode number three. As always, if you have not come, if you have not subscribed or liked, go for it. I much appreciate that like. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like it. And of course, your comments are always welcome. I love them. I love looking at them. I like replying to them because I like talking to you guys because it's always fun to get to know you guys better. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode.